disc tools are made by the ITW company Spit in uh, Europe, namely France. Um, some models were imported into the United States by Ramset and Buildex. Both of them are ITW companies. I believe that the first disc tool is the one that was uh, imported by Ramset and known as the D60. Don't know what they called it over in Europe. Uh, very similar to the Hilti DX350 in that it had a base plate, shear clip, and floating pin guide. And also was uh, only intended to use a pin no longer than 60 or 62 millimeters, two and a half inches. Ramset wanted a tool that would use a full three inch pin, designed for a full three inch pin. And that's where the D75 comes from. It was made more like the uh, Ramset tools of the time, like the uh, single shot tool, the 4170. It has a one piece barrel with a nose piece that has a shroud on it and a nylon buffer in the nose piece. The piston is uh, unique to the tool, meaning that it was only used in this tool and no other. The thing about disc tools is that uh, users either love them or hate them. Uh, I personally like the disc tools. The people that don't like them have told me it's because of the trigger pull. When you pull the trigger, it's kind of a long pull compared to other tools. And this is because it's connected to the advanced lever. When I push the trigger here, you see a lever comes up. This right here, that advances the load. It uh, hooks on the load here. And spins it around. And you'll notice this brown load here, which is for the D60 and D75, had three load levels, brown, green, and yellow. Here's a red load, and you'll notice it's quite a bit longer. This was for the D45, which came out uh, around, probably around 1989, 1990. Uh, and it also fit the Buildex tools, the Buildex disc tools. You can see that it's just too long, it hits the front of the housing there and won't fit in. This is a way to keep operators from using loads in a tool that the tool was not rated for, similar to the tabs on a purple strip for the Hilti tools. This here is a plastic disc, and I'm not going to tell you which company tried to come out with that. It didn't last very long. Uh, I would try to use it in this tool, but uh, right now spare parts are hard to come by. The tools have been discontinued. These, uh, this housing type, they've been replaced by newer tools uh, in Europe, not in the United States. And Framset has gone to uh, strip tools only. At any rate, um, the tools that are available, they're still priced too high for me. I'm not willing to pay that much for it. But maybe eventually I'll get a uh, tool that uh, I can use for spare parts, put this disc in there, and see what kind of damage I can do. I guarantee it'll blow the lid right off of it. The D75 did not last very long. It was discontinued in the mid-80s and replaced eventually, I don't think it was replaced immediately, with a D60L that had a longer barrel assembly uh, for those 3-inch pins. I uh, wasn't really sure why. I mean, there's no reason why the tool shouldn't work, but uh, apparently it didn't. So when I went and tested it, the first two shots... I broke my piston.
but I did have a spare piston so I put that in the tool and it does work it does fit but for some reason there is a reset problem and the pin the piston would not go back into the chambering position it would usually stop about there or maybe there uh, the reset pin just wasn't strong enough to push it in the rest of the way So that must have been why it was discontinued. Uh, also, because more D60s were made since they were also sold in Europe and other places, I would think that the price of them was less.